As of June, gold alone accounted for 54 percent of our foreign exchange earnings as a country. Small scale mining accounts for 40 percent of our gold output. So if you take 40 percent out of 100 percent, it means that our foreign exchange earnings will decrease by 40 percent. There are people who are involved in responsible small scale mining who have invested millions of cities and millions of dollars, who are mining responsibly, who are reclaiming the, 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 the landscape, who are contributing to our national economy, who are employing hundreds and thousands of Ghanaian youth, who have committed no crime. So if you announce a ban tomorrow, it means that you have, you, you have to look at the consequences on the national economy, which obviously will be catastrophic. Which, which will be literally rendering our country bankrupt if you want. You have to look at the investment of these people. You have to look at the employment of, 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 of Ghanaians. On top of it, we have gone down that road before. Think that we should be fighting illegal small scale mining or take the approach of banning small scale mining. Then you will still have the illegalities anyway. There's no guarantee that if you ban small scale mining, the illegal small scale miners will still not will still not um, persevere or persist. So I'm reluctant to give a definitive position on this matter. I think the discussion should go on. But it's not as simple as ban small scale mining, all forms of small scale mining.